Hi everyone, uh, Carol here, so um, lovely to catch up with you uh, again and um, you'll notice I'm not in my usual place doing this message. I am in the concert hall at Bronte's Hospital and um, I've come down here because I wanted to see for myself um, what, the, uh, what the fruits of the work of uh, everyone has been in relation to protective uh, personal equipment, so PPE. Uh, we know it's been a huge issue and I know that um, staff have been really worried about it. So um, I thought I'd film here, give you a sense of what's been going on and uh, in terms of the supplies as well. So uh, whilst I'll do a bit of selfie, um, I will also just flip the camera uh, around a little bit to uh, to show you what's, uh, what's going on. So uh, first thing for me to say is we've had the help of the military uh, working with us uh, here. Um, I might have mentioned it before that um, we've had uh, a major working with us as a liaison officer. Um, well, she's got great connections and she's got a whole host of other colleagues working with us. So I'm going to just show you that for now. Um, just the sense of uh, the work that the, the military guys are, are doing here in terms of helping us uh, with the storage um, and the racking uh, system. Um, and I hope that you're taking some confidence from this, given uh, how many boxes of kit we've got at this stage. And uh, colleagues are, are working uh, pretty hard to make sure we've got a, uh, a really solid system in place um, for, uh, for knowing what we've got um, and for uh, organising deliveries. So um, uh, over here, um, I was just looking at the, uh, the, the visors and I'm going to just try and do a close-up so you can see uh, that these have been made by the Royal Mint. So you may well have seen these um, on the television, some media coverage of these. Well, uh, we've got them uh, in our stores. Uh, we've got them going out and uh, it says on the front, made for hashtag NHS Hero. So uh, hopefully you've uh, you've seen one of those if you need one. Uh, the other elements uh, we've got eye protection, um, plenty of eye protection here, um, and uh, boxes and boxes of uh, of this additional cleaning equipment. Uh, so full face visors I've talked about. Uh, we've got scrubs, uh, every single uh, size you can uh, you can imagine. Um, uh, all of the scrubs are are uh, labelled uh, there and then we've got a system uh, in place here where um, each of the runs, so oestrogen lice run, night and run, a specimen run uh, and a north run. So uh, clearly I've come uh, here sort of early afternoon uh, on Tuesday and all the runs have, have gone out uh, for now. Um, and there will be a system of uh, packing up ready for, for the next run. So um, I, I hope you found this helpful. Um, I've certainly felt so much more um, uh, assured that we have got good stocks coming in. We've got a good system and um, just want to say thank you to everyone who's working so hard uh, on PPE. Um, there is guidance, you'll know that. I think we're trying to make sure we can get uh, that um, translated into a, an easy to understand um, uh, material and I saw Amanda from uh, Bronte's Hospital the other day uh, just doing some filming uh, for that so hopefully that's helped uh, as well so please choose the PPE well uh, use it wisely and um, uh, hopefully if we carry on like this uh, we can be sure that we will have uh, good supplies for the for the weeks uh, and months to come so um, that's it this time on uh, my uh, update so I thought I'd focus on PPE um, and maybe next time I can cover off some of the things such as testing but um, uh, for now, can I just thank everyone again for all the work that's going on? I really do appreciate it and I'll look to catch up with you soon. Thanks very much. Bye bye.